The inspiration for this forum grew out of the new organizational structure of the Osher Center for Integrative Medicine. Starting around 2012, the center was restructured as a virtual institute, a kind of center without walls. And the goal of the center was to bring together the faculty across Harvard Medical School and Harvard University, um, to bring them together, those interested in integrative medicine, in the spirit of collaboration and catalyzing research. So as a first step in this process, Dr. Langevin and I undertook an audit of all the integrative medicine research going on across all of Harvard-affiliated institutions. And to our surprise, we found over 600 researchers um, involved in integrative medicine contributing to the evidence base of, of this field. So we use this information to build a research map that help us visualize where in the, across the Harvard system this research is taking place and who's particularly involved in it. So the forum was the first opportunity to bring these researchers together in person to meet and get to know each other, to explore possible collaborations, and to share our vision for increasing the role of integrative medicine in the future of healthcare in general. So after conducting our audit, Dr. Langevin and I had the idea of collaborating with a network software company called Exaptive Inc. that would help us visualize this network in a computerized way that would help us map out who's doing what and facilitate ongoing collaborations and cooperation. By visualizing individuals in this network and how they are connected, we hope that the individuals would have a better sense of how they are part of a much, much larger matrix of integrative medicine research across the Harvard institutions. So for capturing the experience of the whole person, obviously there's no one single marker that will suffice. So we typically use a whole battery of approaches. For example, in our heart failure studies with Tai Chi interventions, uh, we measure uh, physiological markers of, of exercise capacity and heart stress proteins, but we also try to capture heart failure related quality of life. And in addition, we often include narrative interviews, so we give the patient an opportunity to share in their own experience, in their own words, what it was like to be in the intervention and to give us a better idea of, of what the impact of the intervention is uh, from the patient's own voice. So silos and artificial boundaries clearly exist between integrative and conventional medicine. But medicine is evolving, and there are already good signs that there is good integration and silo dissolving between integrative and conventional approaches. For example, in epidemiology, there's already a great appreciation of the impact of stress and depression on very important diseases such as cardiovascular disease and many immune functions. And similarly, at the molecular level, there's a greater appreciation now that individual genes can impact many different physiological systems. These insights have already begun to help break down silos and launch highly interdisciplinary programs across the Harvard Medical School and Harvard University. For example, our cross-institutional uh, programs in systems biology. And I believe that integrative medicine is simply going to catalyze these changes that are already underway. I think Boston has great potential to becoming a leader in the translation of research to clinical practice in the field of integrative medicine. Going back to Sir Walter Cannon's work on stress physiology and William James' work on mindfulness, there's a real rich tradition of integrative medicine thinking and research um, at Harvard and in the Boston area. Today, across the Harvard Medical School, Harvard University, Tufts School of Medicine, Boston Medical Center, and many of the other academic centers in the Boston area, there's a rich concentration of both academic and practical resources that can be utilized to move the field of integrative medicine and integrative clinical care forward. For all these reasons, Boston is uniquely poised to be a leader in the integration of research with the delivery of integrative medical care.
We plan to convene a meeting with all the leaders from the centers in the near future to get their take on what they think the most important initiatives are. And we've also done surveys of all the participants, and we want to use their feedback to help create a strategic plan of the most important next steps to take. Some specific clear next steps that the OSHA Center is already embarking on is to create a map analogous to our research map for both clinical activities that are going, acro going on across our different centers, as well as educational initiatives related to integrative medicine. So for example, most Harvard hospitals and affiliated institutions already offer a program in Tai Chi or yoga or mind-body, but there's no one single resource that would help a patient or a clinician identify the best place to send an individual who's looking for a program within the system. By creating one map or one network system that would identify all these programs and link them together, it would be a valuable, incredibly valuable resource to the whole community. It would also be a valuable research for outcomes research, where we can document, for example, over a couple of years, all the outcomes of patients who've gone through a mind-body program um, and look at effectiveness and cost effectiveness across all the different hospitals and populations that utilize that resource. So more broadly, I'm confident that the networks that we're building will lead to ongoing and expanded opportunities for collaboration across all the institutions in the Boston area and really lead to important breakthroughs in the fields of integrative medicine research, clinical care, and education.